Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So what we got today is a little project that I need to get started on. This is a, here I'll just show you. This right here is an antique cream separator. And according to my grandmother before she passed, this thing, it's been here on the farm for I don't know how long. It's been out in the barn. It was in the corn crib forever and then I moved it into the barn several years ago. But I finally pulled it out, cleaned it all, I power washed it got all the dirt and dust off of it but according to her it worked when they they quit using it and uh so what we're going to do is try and get this thing going and see if we can use it again it looks like it's got all the parts uh the spouts for the uh, cream and your uh and your skimmed milk the centrifuge is all here it looks like everything's intact so we are going to first thing we're going to do is start taking it apart i know i've, I've found a couple there's a guy on youtube that had one similar to this. I don't know exactly what model this is. I think this one's actually a little bit newer than his. His was just a hand crank. This has the motor and it's a hand crank both. So I think this is a little bit newer model than his, but they're, it looked like they were basically the same thing just without the motor. So I know it's got some bearings in it. It is free. It turns, it, it, it uh, turns fine, but I want to get it torn apart. I don't think there's any oil in it. It takes like a, a 10, a 10 W non-detergent oil and i'm it looks like that all leaked out of it but i'm going to take uh and i got to be careful because i don't know exactly how all this comes apart but i know i gotta i'm going to pull this cover off and i also want to pull i got to pull the uh cap off for the motor because i got to put a new cord on it but i'm going to just completely disassemble this thing i'm going to take it apart it splits right here this centerpiece comes off and i want to see what the gears look like and everything like that i just want to just want to make sure if it needs any any TLC that I give it to it before we start using it because I'm sure this thing's just as good if not better than anything we could buy today. It seems like everything you buy today is just it's junk to begin with. It only lasts a few years. So we were looking at excuse me we've been we've been wanting to buy a cream separator for a while now and the one I was going to buy it's been out of stock and it's supposed to be in stock here soon. But while it's been out of stock, it jumped up like a hundred bucks in price and then i remembered we had this one out there and i talked to a, a good friend of mine the guy i'm getting or I, the guy that I, I purchased our dairy herd from uh he's an old dairy guy and he he had mentioned these international that's what this is it's a mccormick deering international cream separator and he mentioned that and i thought i looked it up and i thought wait a minute that's i think that's what we have actually and so i sent him some pictures and he got all excited and and uh, basically, we, him and I both came to the conclusion this is better than anything that we could buy today. So, and it's gonna, the capacity, it'll do much more than those expensive ones. I think the one we were looking at is like 500 bucks now or something like that. And it's, it only does, I wanna say it's 20 gallons an hour or something like that, it's not a lot. Whereas this is, I think these are supposed to do upwards of four or 500 pounds, which is equal to a uh, gallon is eight pounds or 8.3 pounds. So whatever, I don't know, whatever that math is, I'm not gonna do that right now. But anyway, we're gonna take this part and uh, just see what's in there, see what needs uh, work. I don't think, I'm gonna check the bearings. I'm assuming they're good. It, I didn't hear much bearing noise when I was turning it. So I, I, I'm guessing they're good, but we'll take a look at them. But we're gonna get this apart and just see kind of what we're getting into and see what it's gonna take. And, and I don't wanna to get too deep into it. I, I just kind of wanna observe and, and inspect things because if it's in good shape, you know, if it's not broke, don't fix it. That's kind of my theory. But I do wanna at least get it apart and just make sure the, uh, there's no you know chips in the gears or nothing like that just nothing that once i turn it on is gonna you know be a catastrophic uh failure to it so let's get started
All right, so just kind of give you a little update on where I'm at here. It's kind of dark in here, so I don't know how well you'll be able to see, but I pulled, don't judge my workbench, by the way. I pulled this stuff out. I'm just gonna kind of disassemble it, clean it up. This stuff has a lot of uh, just old residue from that old oil and just some dirt and grime and a little bit of water from condensation from just sitting for so long. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna disassemble the whole thing. There's really not much to this um, at all, <laughs> really. This is very simple, just a bunch of gears and set screws and, and some screws. So anyway, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna try and pull this shaft out next and separate those two gears. It looks like just maybe some different screws are what holds that together, and then it should slide out. It looks like it looks like a plug. It's like a plug right there. I don't know. I'm gonna mess with that and see. This is it's it's loose, it's free, you can see it spinning right there. But it was pretty tough with the handle. It's like something's I don't know, something's it's not seized up, but something's just not something's I don't want to push too hard on it because I don't want to break any teeth or anything off of the one of the gears. But anyway, so that's what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try and Looks like this should come out that way. I don't know. Anyway, it looks like there's a set screw over here. Yeah. Looks like there's a set screw right in there. Right right there. So pull that screw out. It looks like that shaft should slide out. There's another set screw there. So it looks like just a couple set screws and that shaft should slide out and those gears should come right out. And uh, then I'm probably going to separate this, this top piece from the bottom piece pull that out I think this is just an oil plug I didn't pull it out yet but I think that's all that is um, but yeah so that's kind of where we're at but it looks like this is pretty simple just pull the stuff apart get everything cleaned up and nice nice and smooth and clean and then uh, I see some numbers too in there so I'll try and find out what model this is too I should be able to but I don't know maybe I'll get a wild hair and actually clean it and paint it or something before I put it back together but Anyway, it looks like it's in very good shape. It doesn't look like there's a lot of, a lot of wear on these gears at all. Um, it doesn't look like it was used. My, I know my grandpa took really good care of stuff for the most part. Um, took really good care of stuff. So it looks like this was not used and abused. And it actually doesn't look like it was really used that much. There's not a lot of wear on these teeth. So that's kind of promising. Even on this one, it doesn't look, uh, <clears throat> doesn't look that bad at all. So... So here we are. I've got it all taken apart and completely disassembled pretty much as far down as I can go um, or as I want to go. There's a couple other pieces I just I don't think that need to come off unless I paint it maybe I guess which I don't know if I'll go that far. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I don't know. But the uh, you can see right there there's one bearing left in there and then right down there is the other bearing. I'll probably pop those out I think I'm just gonna replace those I, they look all this I think they're all the same I think but anyway I'm probably gonna replace those just because it'd be dumb not to I got it this far apart but this thing looks like it's in fantastic shape there's the base down there it came right apart uh, I've got I'm gonna have to make some gaskets for this or <clears throat> it just it needs to get soaked now it needs to get soaked and cleaned all this stuff is just it's got this grime I mean this thing's been sitting Gosh, I bet this has been sitting 35 years, at least, maybe probably 40 years. Um, I don't ever, I'm, I'm, I'll be, how old am I? I'll be 40, I'll be 40 this year. 
and I don't ever remember them using this ever it's been sitting in the corn crib for as long as I can remember until I moved it over to the barn so um, but yeah it just needs cleaned out I mean the inside it looks good there's no, I'm not seeing any metal shavings which is great the all the gears there's like they're really not showing any wear which is fantastic so I think this just needs cleaned up and uh, put some new bearings in it we'll put it back together this motor I'm gonna have to pop this off and put a new new cord on it, which is no big deal. I cut this off years ago when I, it's probably been eight years ago or so when I moved it out of the corn crib over into the barn. <clears throat> but it's, uh, we'll, we'll put a new cord on and then bench test this. Hopefully this works okay. If not, there's a guy I know not too far from here that works on electric motors. So if it doesn't work, I'll just take it up to him. But you can see it's just, it's just, it's nasty. This stuff is, I mean, my hands have got like, I, I scrubbed and cleaned my hands and they're like stained from this. I'm assuming it's cream and oil together. Some nasty sludge. Uh, in fact, the guy in that YouTube video even said that he used non-detergent oil because when the oil and the milk or the cream mixed, it made this nasty sludge. And I'm assuming that's what he's talking about. It's just disgusting. So it just needs to get soaked and cleaned. And then um, I think I might throw, if I can find the right color paint, I might throw a coat of paint on it might as well I'm this far into it but that's kind of where we're at on this I'll uh it's gonna take me I'm gonna let this soak for a couple days and then uh then we'll put it back together or at least make sure I get all the bearings and everything I need I might uh I'll probably taking those bearings out shouldn't be that big of a deal in fact I think I think they just pop right out looks like there's a there's a, a bolt that comes out that holds the bottom side of that one in and then there's a plug on the other side of that one it looks like so um anyway i'll uh i'll probably throw that in there too me taking those out those bearings out if i may have already put it in there i don't know either way i'll try and get it in this video but a uh, little update too on the uh the 11 30. this uh this old girl i uh this uh this part two is going to be coming out in this fairly soon i've got the hydraulic pump out already and I've got all the seals for it. But there's, I was looking, I may actually take that somewhere and just have them go through it and look it over. I did replace all these O-rings on the outside of it last year, but I know there's more seals inside this and I do not want to mess with that. So I may actually just take that somewhere and just have them put new seals in it for me. That way I should never have to mess with that again in my lifetime. I, I kind of feel like it would be dumb not to since I've already got it out and <clears throat> sitting on the floor. I can't imagine it would cost that much to have somebody take it apart and fix it. Um, there's a place in Omaha I know that does that stuff. But I do know, I just talked to the guy this morning, I've got the seals for this. So I'm gonna run down and grab those, uh, hopefully in the next few days. And uh, we'll get that put in. And then as soon as I get this thing figured out, new seals in it, then it's this, this baby's ready to go back together. I do have to pick up the new alternator, which I will get. Um, I'll get that. That's not a big deal. I think that's just a common GM alternator that all the old trucks used to have on them. Um, but anyway, and then the, uh, that's where we're at on that. I got, uh, seems like the projects never end. I've always got at least one or two projects going on at the same time, but that's what happens when you got old equipment. So anyway, uh, that's where we're at on that. Um, and I'll, uh, I'll do another video if I decide to paint this I'll throw that in another video and when I when I go to assemble it and everything but I'm pretty excited this cream separator I like old stuff I love I love uh, old antique things and that's why I've got a shed I haven't even showed you guys yet I've got a shed full of old tractors that are my grandpa's old tractors that I they all need work and I plan on one by one <clears throat> rebuilding those and getting those working again but I just I love old stuff I hate getting rid of stuff I it, it irritates me how's the society anymore we just tear down tear everything down instead of instead of uh, refurbishing and then we build build new things and this new stuff that we build even just components or uh, a new these new separators I guarantee you they're not made as well as these this old separator is here so Anytime I get a chance to rebuild something or redo something, that's what I that's what I choose to do. And I, I don't care if it costs twice as much, because in my opinion, <clears throat> it, say this separator, and it's not going to, but if this costs me twice as much as a new one to rebuild this, I would still do it just for the fact that it's twice the separator a new one's going to be. So that's kind of how I see things. I just, I hate that we always tear things down and throw things away and every, everything today is made to be a, a 
to just throw it away and you buy a new one and that's I, I hate doing that so and it means something I mean this is my grandparents separator my grandpa and my grandma used this so why not keep it and if I take care of it my grandkids should be able to use it which I think is pretty cool so so it's all about the legacy right so anyway guys I appreciate you coming along today and uh, if you found what I'm doing interesting go ahead and give us a like and uh, hit the subscribe button. Got lots more projects, as you can tell. I've always got something going on here. Anyway, I haven't been uh, filming much outside because it's just, it's been cold and wet and we've gotten a little more snow and it just, it's muddy. There's just not much going on outside right now other than just, you know, bedding down, doing my chore, regular chores and uh, feeding hay, milking, that kind of stuff. I'll probably do a video on, on milking here sometime in the future. I'm sure you guys are gonna wanna see that maybe, but anyway. So again, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Hit the thumbs up button if you liked it. Check out our other videos. I got, we're getting, starting to get several videos up now um, about different projects and different things around the farm and we're gonna continue to do that. So if you guys are still watching, I really appreciate it and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.